Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this summer water bottle holder. For this tutorial you're going to need some yarn. I'm using a cotton yarn and I have roughly 50 grams. You're going to need a 4mm crochet hook, a darning needle, a pair of scissors, a stitch marker, and of course your water bottle for measuring purposes. For round one, begin by taking your yarn and making a magic ring. From here, we're going to make six double crochet into the ring. Now, please note that this pattern is written in UK terms. From here, you can then go ahead and tighten your ring. So for round two, we're going to make two double crochet in each stitch. This is one and two. And make sure you mark the first stitch of each round. And that's the end of round two. So go ahead and take your stitch marker out and we'll begin round three. So for round three, you're going to start by making one double crochet in the first stitch and then one increase in the next. Mark your first stitch and we're going to do that again. So it's one double crochet and then an increase and you're going to repeat this for the round. For round four, you're going to make one double crochet in the first two stitches and then your increase. Mark your first stitch and we'll do that again. So one double crochet in the first two stitches and then your increase in the next. And you're just going to go ahead and repeat that for round four.
For round five, you're going to make one double crochet in the first three stitches. and then your increase. One double crochet in the first three stitches and then your increase. And you repeat this for round five. For round six, you're going to make one double crochet in the first four stitches. And then your increase. That's one double crochet in the first four stitches and then your increase. For round seven, this is our last round, we're going to make one double crochet in the first five stitches. And then your increase. One double crochet in the first five stitches. and then your increase.
and there we have the base of our water bottle holder completed. For round 8, you are going to make one treble crochet in each stitch around. So that's one treble crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of this round. So I'm just coming up to the last few stitches on round 8 and this time we're going to close this round. So you're going to find your first treble crochet that you made and you're going to slip stitch into the top of that. Now as you'll see the sides of your holder are going to start bending up, that's completely normal. So for round nine, we're going to chain three. Now this chain three does count as a stitch. That's really important to remember. You're going to make one treble crochet in each stitch around, just like we did in round eight. So I'm just coming to the end of round nine and to close the round you're going to find the third chain from your beginning chain three and you're going to slip stitch into it to close the round. Now for rows 10 and 11 you're going to repeat that process. You're going to chain three, remember it does count as a stitch, make one treble in each stitch around and then slip stitch to the top of your beginning chain three. So go ahead, pause the video, and I'll meet you back when you've done that. So as you can see, I've completed the base and the sides of the water bottle holder. 
What we're going to do now is we're going to create the mesh part of the holder. So to do this, you're going to begin by chaining five. You're then going to skip the next two stitches. So one, two, and you're going to slip stitch into the third and you'll have this little loop. And we're going to do that again. You're going to chain five. But this time you're going to skip the next three. So one, two, three, and you're going to slip stitch into the fourth stitch. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. So chain five, skip the next three stitches and slip stitch into the fourth. And you're going to continue this process until you have two stitches remaining. So I'm just making my last stitch and as you can see I've finished round 12 with a slip stitch. So to begin round 13 you want to chain 5. Now skipping over the other two stitches you want to find the third chain in your first loop. So 1, 2, 3. And you're going to slip stitch into that third chain. And now I like to mark the first loop just so that I can remember where the round begins. So we're going to do that process again. You're going to chain five. You're going to find the third chain on your second loop. So one, two, three. And you're then going to slip stitch into that. And you're just going to repeat that process until you get to the end of round 17.
So this is what it should be looking like at the end. For round 18 you're going to begin by chaining one. Now into this same loop you're going to make two double crochet. So that's into the loop. Make one double crochet and then your second one. You're then going to move on to your next loop and you're going to make four double crochet. Now you're going to do this in each loop. So that's four double crochet in each loop. And you're going to continue doing this until you reach the end of this round. So I'm just making my last few double crochet in this loop. Now to close round 18, you're going to slip stitch into the very first double crochet. For rows 19 and 20, you're going to chain three Remember this counts as a stitch and you're going to make one triple crochet in each stitch around. You'll then close each round by slip stitching into the beginning chain three. So I've just finished my last two rounds. For round 21, you're going to chain one. This doesn't count as a stitch. Starting in the same stitch, you're going to make one double crochet in each stitch around. When you then get to the end, slip stitch into your very first double crochet. So I've just finished round 21 and this is what your water bottle holder should be looking like. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat this mesh section. So for round 22, chain 5. skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into the third. Chain five. Chain five. 
skip the next three stitches and slip stitch into the fourth. And you're going to continue doing that for the rest of the round. So I'm just at the end of round 22. To start round 23, you're going to chain five. And you're going to find the third chain of your very first loop. Slip stitch into it exactly as you did before. Chain five. Find the third chain in your next loop and slip stitch into it. And you're going to continue doing this until you reach the end of round 27. So just finish round 27 and as you can see we have the mesh bit again. So for round 28 you're going to chain one and this is just as we did before. You're going to make two double crochet into the same loop. Into the next loop you're going to make four double crochet and you're going to continue doing that all the way around. So that's four double crochet in each loop. For rounds 29 to 31, chain 3, make 1 triple crochet in each stitch around and then slip stitch into beginning chain 3 to close. Of course, if you would like to, you can crochet as many rows as you would like. This is just simply a guideline. So we're going to begin making the straps. Chain three, this does count as a stitch, and make one treble crochet in the next two stitches. Chain three, and turn your work. Work. 
make one treble crochet in the next two stitches. So this is one. And the next one's going to be in the top of your previous chain three. So it might be a little bit tight, but it should be okay. Chain three and turn. So it, as you can see, it's a really simple strap. If you want to, you can make it bigger. I personally wanted it this thin because otherwise it's then a bit bulky. And you're going to continue this process for a total of 60 rows. 